In this video, I'm going to show you something really, really awesome if you run an online store using WooCommerce. Now, check this out. I'm on the shop page here. I'm just going to scroll down and choose a particular product. So I'm going to go with this T-shirt, for example. Next, I'm going to come over here and click on Add to Cart. Now, notice what happens. We now have this slide out. Now, this slide out is pretty cool because it has a lot of features. So this is what we're going to be talking about in this video and why it is important that you have this slide out cart. It's called Modern Cart. Now, this will increase your average order value. Now, if you run an online store, definitely you want to make sure that people buy more products on your website. All right, so let's dive in and let's take a look at this. So first of all, it installs as a plugin. And this plugin is made by the makers of Cartflows. So Cartflows is the first, the very first funnel software for WordPress. I mean, I've actually made a review going back, I think it's about four years now, four or five years, I think. And it is a really, really solid product. So anyway, so let me show you how this works. So once installed, you'd come over here to WooCommerce and on WooCommerce, you have an extra entry and you can see here it says modern cut over here on the bottom. So you wanna click on that and this is where you get all your options. So we're gonna start off with your account. So this is where you'd enter your license key. So once you've purchased it, you enter your license key, you're going to have full access to all the features. Next, we're gonna come over here to our general. So over here, this is where you can enable the cart. So at the moment, it's set up to work on the entire website, but you can only specify it to WooCommerce pages or you can just disable it altogether. I don't know why you would do that, but anyway, the option is there. Next, we have the cart style. So here we have different styles. We have style one to up to style six. Now, it would be nice if I could just hover over here and have a small preview, like a pop-up preview, where I can see what the style one looks like, style two looks like, and so on. Anyway, moving on, we also have our cart header style. Again, we have style one and style two. So the moment you select it over here, you notice that you get this option, uh, this sign that says successfully saved, which means if I come over here now, and I refresh the page, I can literally take a look and see all the, uh, the updates, you know, pretty much, you know, live. Anyway, back over here, you can see we have our order summary style. We also have increased average order value with product recommendation. Now, this part here is what really, really gets me excited because when you take a look at this card, you notice that we have these extra products. And you can, it says here, even better with these. So these are pretty much like you recommended while you're just about to make a change to proceed to checkout. But there's quite a lot that you can do here. For example, I can go in here and add more items. Now you can see I'm doing this on the slide out. Next, let's say I want to add perhaps maybe uh, this light brown purse. I can just click on that and notice it's now added. I haven't gone into the actual website to add these products. All these are pretty much there over here on the slide out for me. I also have some shoes here. I can just pretty much just add them and look at how I'm populating my cart. Next, I can do the slide out and I can slide and choose whatever product I want. So let's say I want two of these shoes. I can just go ahead and add. And now I have two of those shoes. So as you can see, this is really, really cool. Now, let me show you something which you're also going to find very exciting. You know, on the uh, discount code, usually you get it on the checkout page. Now here, we get it right here. So if I add my discount code here, apply it, it's going to update my cart to 300 and whatever the discount is. And this is really, really cool. So back over here, I want to show you some more customizations. So we were here on the increase average order value. Next, we also have product recommendation uh, source for empty cart. We can say from featured here and we can also display or remove or disable rather the um, coupon field if you want to. Okay, so moving on, we also have a lot of these uh, options here. It says enable free shipping bar. I can do that or disable it if I don't have any shipping, okay? So as you can see, there's quite a lot we can choose from. Now over here, I can also change the text labels. Now this is also really cool because as you know, shops may differ in terms of what they sell. So 
something as basic as review your cart, I can say re- review your basket. How about that? So I can just say basket like that. Now you can see it's saved. So when I come back over here and I and you can see right now it says review your cart. When I refresh this, it should say review your basket. So let's go ahead and see. Boom, you see that? That's already updated. So this is where you make all your updates. Now here it says even better with these. All this can be customized, which I really like. So here you can see here, it says even better with these. So I'm gonna say Mac recommendations. Okay, now when I go back over here, you see this part here which says even better with this. Again, I can just quickly refresh this and take a look. Okay, we're gonna click here. You can see here, it says Mac recommendations. So as you can see, it is highly customizable, which is really, really cool. So empty card recommendation title, all this can be done. Get your discount code. I can even modify this and say, get a 50% discount today. So as you can see, there's a lot that we can add here to customize this. Let's move on now to the floating cart icon. So sometimes maybe you want a trolley or perhaps you want a basket that looks like that. Now, once you save it, when you come over here now and refresh, you're going to notice that it's going to update and that's it right there on the bottom, okay? It's very, very easy to change the icon and I don't think you need any more icons other than that, you know? These are pretty much um, the amount you need. Now, what if what if these colors that we have on this slide out are not the colors that work with our website? What if? How do we change that? Well, they've thought about this and I really like this. So over here, if you go to styling, you notice now we have your primary color. So let's say your primary color, of course you need the hexadecimal value. You'd come over here, paste it, or you can just select it from here. Heading text color, you can just come over here, change the heading color as well. Perhaps you want to go with that. So all these items, the button text color, the button background color, so all these can be updated to pretty much whatever you want. But what I also like here is the fact that on the slide out on the desktop, we can set it to 450, but if you want, you can adjust this maybe to about say 480, depending on the size of your website. It's pretty much up to you. And this will, uh, will update. Now on a mobile, it's set to 80%. Again, you can change this to whatever percentage you want. And the animation speed also can be updated over here. So you can see it's set to 300. I can set this to 200. Okay, so with that now, when I come back over here, I'm sure we're going to see some slight uh, changes to my design. Okay, you can see the color here has changed for sure. And now my button color here has changed as well. And these buttons here now have also changed. And also this little cell icon has also changed. So you can see this has taken on my primary color from my settings over here. So modern cut is pretty much, you know, modern It's really cool. If you're running a WooCommerce store, definitely this is something that you may want to consider. All right, so now that I have this uh, pretty much all said, the question is, where do you get this? Well, if you head over to the link that I'll provide in the video description below, it's going to take you over to this page here. And this is where you have your modern cart. So when I scroll all the way down here, this is where we have our pricing and pretty much you have all your features all explained again. But for, um, for up to 10 websites, it's $69. I mean, this is really affordable. So if you're a freelancer and you want to, uh, or you design websites for small businesses that use the WooCommerce, then definitely this is a no brainer. It's $69, but you can also charge this in your, um, in your design process for this feature. So instead of just having a standard uh, say WooCommerce website, you can ask the client and say, hey, would you like this little feature where you have the slide out and so on? And this will be an upsell for you as a designer or as an agency. Well, you can make your money back because you could charge $69 for one customer and that takes care of all the 10 websites. Or you can just choose this one-time option, which will give you up to 30 websites for $199. The link to that will be in the video description below. But if you want to read more, you can go ahead and check this out. And also, and also, if you want to try it out, 
Uh, you can click here and this will take you into a demo website and you can play around with it and see how it works. In my opinion, this is definitely something you need for your WooCommerce websites because it just makes the whole user experience much, much better. And most importantly, it increases your average order value. So the last thing that I want to show you is, you know, when we came over here, we can see all these recommendations here. These are based on the upsell. Now, let me just show you quickly how you get that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here to WooCommerce. We're going to come to products and then click on all products. So this now is going to give me a list of all the products in my store. So I'm going to go to DKNA Black Shoes here, click on edit. So this is where I can choose where I want to add my items. So I'm going to scroll down here. Now, do you notice where we have linked products here? Now we have upsells. So this is where you can start adding your, all your upsells. Now, these are the upsells or cross sells that will show up over here. Okay. In our settings. So that is pretty much the only place that they show. So you can choose either to have this as cross sells or you can have them as upsells. And these are what are shown over here. But like I said, this is where you set them up for this particular product. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.